loops. Imagine that you need to charge a service to a user's credit card. You need to check if the credit card is able to process the payment. For that, you will include a task that tries the payment a number of times, let's say three, or until the payment is approved. Once this task is completed, the process continues by sending an email to the users announcing that the service was accepted or rejected. Process Maker presents the loop mode within the task configuration. In the process design, when you include a new task, you will find loop activity in the task configuration. Then in loop mode dropdown, select loop. Then you must include the number of iterations and optionally an exit condition. In the example, that number would be three. For the last step, you should include the condition that must be met. For example, if you want to stop the loop after the payment has been approved, you could write approval equals true.